Hello and welcome to QuickSite.com's tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to go over user management and user functions. And basically we're going to be focusing on this module here and kind of some back-end user management that you have. This is the login module which in your back-end in your module manager here Again, let's just uh, start from the control panel. It'd be under extensions. Go to module manager. You would go to new. And this is the module and the parameters that is responsible for this box and these links and the functionality. Now again, I don't need to create a new one, although I can, because I already have one in place. User login. And notice we have, you know, to show the title. Get my brow browser's organized here. So the title here, user login, corresponds to here. You'll notice that this text over here corresponds to this text here. You also have menu assignment. Maybe you don't want the login module to show on some pages, but you do on others. And then on the front end, it offers create account, forgot your username, forgot your password, all included the functionality. When a user creates their account, they'll simply fill out these fields, and they'll hit register, and it will actually send them an email that they'll have to con uh, confirm their email by um, clicking a confirmation link. And when they do that, what that's going to do is it's going to add them into your user manager. And let's go take a look at that. Your user manager is located under your site top link, second one down. And you'll see that there is only one user right now, and that is me, and I'm in the group super administrator. Let's just take a look at that. Basically, regardless of the group the user is in, and we'll get to that in a moment, these parameters are going to apply to all users. Um, a couple things to point out. Um, one thing that's nice about this platform is that if um, something bad were to happen, you were ever to get hacked, someone got your password, your users' passwords are never available. They're, they're hashed and they're encrypted. So you can never... Um, see their password from your end. They can uh, take steps to recover and change it, but if you ever need to change the password manually, you just simply do it right here. So if you need to change the password to your login, your actual Joomla backend login, you would actually do it right here. And notice that you can choose to block a user, yes or no, and set whether this user is to receive system emails. When you get into user groups, it's best to look at this just like at a job where you have a hierarchy of authority. Um, something to point out here is that the super administrator is actually at the top of the hierarchy, so it's kind of upside down. And your public front end would be like your grunt employees. They would be the most common. So the super administrator, there has to be one, and that by default will be you. Um, I would recommend that you never give anybody else super administrator status um, because that's like giving them the, key to the keys to the shop. They'll be able to do whatever you can. Otherwise, the other back-end user groups are going to simply limit the functions that um, a manager or administrator could do. So, for example, a manager couldn't delete users. Um, when you get to the front end, a registered user simply means someone who's confirmed their email. An author is someone who can submit articles to the site or web pages or content. An editor can also submit pages and articles to the site, but they can also change the content submitted by authors below them. And then finally, a publisher can do everything an author and an editor can, but they have say in whether the content submitted is actually published or not. Then, of course, all the positions on the back end can do everything a publisher, editor, auditor, and, or author, and registered user can. So, again, it's just like a hierarchy structure, just like employee, assistant manager, manager, CEO of the company. 
and uh, typically uh, for a lot of business models I don't see um, too many businesses needing to go outside just using the basic registered if you've got a business model that's calling or is needing a bunch of content or uh, input from a bunch of other users then of course you have this in place to help organize um, those user groups and additionally you can set uh, other parameters uh, default language whether the user has the tiny MCE 2.0 editor turned on or off I typically just leave these alone and let the global take care of it the global configuration and that's how you uh, would manage a user if you want to create a new user manually you just click new and simply fill in the uh, the blanks here the name the username the email and the password of that user and you can email them that information manually so let's go ahead and walk through this and show you how it works simply fill out the information and when you click register let's say your account has been created and an activation link has been sent to the email address you entered note that you must activate the account by clicking on the activation link when you get the email before you can log in so I'm gonna go do that right now but before I do let's go to the back end and see how that looks in the user manager you'll see that I created a new name Mr. Man there's the username and it shows that I'm not enabled and I've not logged in and last visit has been never and then there's my email. Um, this means that I've not gone to my email and confirmed my email address yet. So let me go do that. And so here I am and this is the message that I received and basically I need to click this link here and when I do it says activation complete. And so now I can log in. And let's go to the back end real quick and show how that changed things. When I refresh the page back here now this turns to a green check mark because I clicked that confirmation link. So now that I am a registered user, let's type in my username and password and log in. And as you see, it says user login, hi Mr. Man, and of course I can log out. Now at the, at the moment I don't have any restricted or registered pages set up, so there's nothing new that I would see but in essence that is how a user would log in and then because his group is registered any articles access level that you set to registered now cannot be seen by the public but only by that user group and special is the user group author editor publisher anything above registered and if we go back to our user manager you can see now that my last visit has changed from never to um, the last time that I was logged in and if you go to your site's control panel the logged in users will also show you a list shows the group I'm in and of course I can manually log this user out user session ended and that is basically how you can control and manage your users. As you can see, um, this creates a very robust and flexible way to create um, protected pages or pages that you only want those privileged users or those who have given you their email and their sign-off information to see. Um, this is perfect for having pages with, uh, you know, uh, valuable information, download links to ebooks, um, you know, coupons, specials, a whole uh, whole slew of options there for you. And then finally, under your tools section, there is a mass mail link that makes easy work of communicating and sending out newsletters, if you will, to whatever group that you wish to to send newsletters out. So registered, for example, would be a real default built-in way to say, hey, if you sign up and register with my site, um, you know, you're signing up for our special newsletter and then you would go here to write your messages and when you hit send mail it will send it out to all the users in that group and that's how you can send out newsletters and keep in touch with your with your user base and I hope this helps and that concludes this tutorial